Hey, welcome to Loveless Astrology. Today I'll be looking at what the stars say regarding the tumultuous relationship of Jasmine and Gino from 90 Day Fiancé. So, what is the energy here? This is based on a love chart I made on January 16th, 2022. Before I was aware of the drama between Gino and Jasmine after he leaked her nudes to an ex, Yikes. Let's start with Jasmine. The lovely Jasmine is the sun in Capricorn. This is a serious, disciplined, and hardworking person. Maybe we can see this energy with how much Jasmine appears to enjoy working out. The sun, Jasmine, isn't doing so lovely in this chart, however. Jasmine's planet is in the sixth house. Most relevant to what we're looking at though, the relationship. This puts her in the 12th house from the house of relationships. The 12th house in this context is a house of suffering. So there is a lot of unhappiness she's experiencing in regards to love. Capricorn, the sign the sun is in, is a cold sign. So the warmth of this relationship is lacking. The sun is joined to Pluto here. This intensifies the coldness and unhappiness she's experiencing. It can also describe her as an intense if not explosive person herself. Those who watch the show, all these things we know to be true. What else is here? Let's look at some interesting Arabic parts joined to the Sun and Pluto. We have them joined to the Arabic part, Faith. This must speak of an intense faith she had for Gino to be a good man for her. She expressed on the show the faith she had for Gino after being through so many bad men. Conversely, the Sun and Pluto are also joined to the part Disassociation. I think this speaks of how her faith was challenged and how she was ready to walk away from him. Let's look at the Ascendant, another point in the chart that will describe Jasmine. It's joined to the fixed star, Murak. Very interesting and describes her to a T. She likes her men obedient to Obedient. That's how I like it. <laughs> There's a lot going on with the Ascendant, so let's see. We have Neptune in conjunct the Ascendant. This is an aspect usually showing something amiss. Neptune definitely speaks of a harmful deception, especially with Neptune in the 8th house, a house of loss, fears, and anxieties. There are several Arabic parts joined to the Ascendant. Captives, captives and the conquered, bondage. I don't see Gino as physically holding her hostage, but perhaps Jasmine is very drawn to him and it's very hard to walk away. Agreement, discord. Could this be a reference to them having team conflict, but also coming to agreement about things? Year of death. I see this as a huge change to her life as she knows it. It could be a hint of the relationship not progressing another year but Jasmine seems to be very certain of staying with Juno, so this is probably the relationship never being like it was before for Jasmine. Not necessarily a bad thing. Masculine children doesn't apply here, so we'll leave that one out. Lastly, let's look at the moon, which will also describe Jasmine in the overall situation. The moon is a sad planet here as Lord of the 12th house. The moon is in Cancer, so the emotion of this sadness is intensified. In other words, very depressing energy and overall sadness. The moon's north node, also known as the dragon's head, is joined to the fixed star, Alcyone. You never want to see Alcyone in a love chart as it's a sure sign that someone will be very unhappy and crying. The moon is trying Neptune and Pisces here. Neptune is in the 8th house. I see this as great anxiety and fear she's had towards Gino and her great disillusionment with him and an indicator of her great emotions. Lastly for the moon, let's look at Arabic parts. Pretty straightforward, isn't it?
Next, in part two, we'll be looking at Gino.